Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Coach Doobie with your Fit Coach Tip of the Week. Once again, On Deck Training Center, Newtown Square, Pennsylvania. The topic for today is hip flexors and specifically tight ones. I'm starting to see this more often uh, each and every day with my clients, both my general fitness personal training clients as well as my athletes. Um, two kind of different needs, but I want to address them both here for today. So the first question is, what are your hip flexors? So your hip flexors are basically made up of two muscles. That's your iliacus and psoas major. Both these muscles that cross that hip joint in the anterior part of that body, when they shorten, that causes that hip to flex, okay? Also causes those hips to drop. So we're talking hip flexors, okay? Now, as far as uh, why do they get them tight? Why do your hip flexors get tight? Typically, when it comes down to any muscle, that's any muscle in your body at all, a muscle that is shortened for a prolonged period of time has a tendency to stay shortened, okay? Whether it's your biceps, hamstrings, any type of muscle. So let's talk about those hip flexors for a minute. When they stay short, like a seated position, they want to they continue to stay short, and they'll get tight in that shortened position. So let me give you a life example of how this affects the general public as well as athletes, but just, let's just take a look at ourselves for a minute, okay? When you start every day, what do you do? You get up, you eat breakfast. Usually, you sit down. Short, tight, hip flexors, okay? What do you do after breakfast? Well. You might get in the car. Once again, you're seated. Short, tight, hip flexors. You drive to work. What do you do once you get to work? Once again, you're seated in this flexed hip position. Throughout the day, you go to lunch, seated. You get out of your, your work day, then what do you do? Well, you get back in the car, seated, and drive home to have dinner, seated. And most people in America once they get home and end of the day, they like to decompress and watch some TV. Completely normal. But again, you're seated in this flexed hip position. Okay? And oh, by the way, end of the night, going to bed, a lot of people will actually sleep in that fetal position, flexed hip position. Okay? So with that flexed hip always being flexed, it has a tendency to stay flexed, has a tendency to be tight. Okay? Uh, let me give you another example of like an athlete. So thinking about each sport and the needs of each sport and then the needs within the sport. Let's take baseball for example, all right? And specifically my catchers. Every catcher I've ever worked with had super tight hip flexors. No wonder. Let's look at them. They're always down in this flex hip position, okay? So the question I have for today is, you know, you have tight hip flexors. Well, what do you do and what don't you do? What you shouldn't do is you shouldn't try to strength train those hip flexors. If they're already tight, you don't want to make them tighter. What you want to do is you want to stretch those hip flexors and release those hip flexors. Now, you can roll them out with a device like this, okay? You can actually release them with devices like this using a static or dynamic release. Um, if you don't know how to do this, there's plenty of videos online, but I would actually recommend you to work with a professional. Hire a pro, you'll thank yourself in the long run to actually teach you how to use these devices to release that hip, okay? Release that hip flexor, okay? So when it comes to training your hip flexors, you don't wanna, you don't wanna necessarily strengthen them through a posterior pull with bands or, or hanging leg raises or, or, or six inch drills, kinda, some people think it's core, but it's actually not, it's actually that hip flexor. What you wanna do is stretch your hip flexors release those hip flexors, and train the antagonistic muscle group. That basically means the opposite muscle group from those hip flexors. That's going to be your hip extenders, which are both your glute max and your hamstring muscle groups. So if I have clients with tight hip flexors, we try to release them, we try to stretch them out, and we try to strength train the other muscle groups around that hip, specifically those hip extenders. Okay? And once again, if you have any questions with this, hire a pro. You'll thank yourself. And that's your Fit Coach Tip of the Week. Thanks, guys.